Hey people, Anthony 4B4 Diesel. This is not vehicle related, but this is stuff that you might want to learn. Stuff they don't teach you at school. Just going to be a quick video, something to think about. For if you are ever want to own or maintain a property, just reseal this concrete here. Um, obviously we're in Australia, so I don't know what you do in other countries, but for a long time we've used um, concrete sealer. It's a uh, solvent based product, gets you high. I've just uh, used about three tins of it, just under three tins to do this area, which is probably about 160 square meters, a 20 liter tin, so yeah, quite a bit of juice. I do throw it on, that's your first tip. Uh, we use some brushes from a Australian company, PNC Brushes, they're manufactured in Camberfield, family business. And um, we'll probably have a little bit more information on them soon in another video, because brushes are really handy for lots of things including cleaning some things on your vehicle. So I'm gonna actually get in contact with them, have a bit of a chat and see if we can come up with some of their products and show you what they've got because of course we love supporting Australian owned and Australian made products and keeping Australian jobs and the quality. So I'd actually like to help build their business up, make it bigger. So uh, it can be, you know, we can keep better quality products, keep some jobs and um, yeah, happy days, right? So. Concrete sealing, I'm not the expert on, I'm not a concreter and I'm not a concrete sealer, but I know some people that are and uh, I've done it many times, probably sealed thousands of square metres of concrete, not as much as a concreter, but this is what I've learned and it's pretty obvious. This will dry a bit lighter anyway, but it's uh, dry enough to walk on at the moment. Expecting some rain soon, so I got out early and got it all done early, hoping it'll uh, dry before the rain, which is what you want. Your concrete needs to be really clean and really dry when you seal it okay so first coat you need to read the can but they talk about you can do it when it's green or you wait at least i think it's 30 days or something like that this is a reseal on a reseal you don't add any solvent to it the best way to apply it is with a brush because obviously spraying it half of it blows away so you're just paying to sp pay to spray pay to spray right so if you get somebody to do it or you do it yourself just ask them do you spray it on or do you um, apply it with a broom or a roller this is a pretty rough finish, a lot of concrete is, that's why you use a broom, not a roller. You won't just, you just won't get the coverage. You'll be just dipping forever into that tray and it'll be drying up on you and it just won't work out. The broom goes, the PNC brushes broom goes straight into the 20 litre bucket. It's a little bit tight, but it works. They could probably drop five mil off the broom would be ideal, but does the job. They used to be a little bit smaller years ago. They must've got a new mold or something like that. Um, so the supplier for all your concrete supplies that's really good value for money. There's a bloke by the name of Greg, he's got a Prado, and it's not because he's got a Prado, I've been using them, because they were recommended to me through um, PNC Brushes, because I actually used to know one of the uh, family business, one of the owners at PNC Brushes. And um, yeah, so he, he hooked me up with Australian Slate Crete Supplies who are in uh, Epping, and you can get all your supplies from them. They're probably the best value for money. Um, and good quality products and good customer service. Speak to Greg, Greg's the, uh, the man there. He's not the owner, but he's the man. And he owns a Prado, a nice bloke, really good customer service, really good information. And I know it's got nothing to do with this channel, but I just like to recommend good businesses. Um, so it's called Australian Slate Crete Supplies. We'll get just a few spots of rain as we speak right now. So I'm just gonna walk over here to this last part that I sealed and see if it's tacky on the boots or not, because I'm just curious to know how we go with this. I think it's dry enough. Okay, so any of your concrete supplies, anything to do with concreting other than concrete, maybe, I don't know about mesh, I don't think they sell mesh, but all your sealers and all your gear to do that. So I can walk on this, it's not tacky on the boots. If you hear me start going <coughs> then it's a bit wet and then the rain might not be ideal. Looks like we've got a shower coming. Right, so that's your, um, your two companies, I suppose. Um, any brushes you need, whether it's brushes to go around your roller door, you know, those brushes to seal, you want to, a lot of people, so there you go, it is car related. You might want to keep your vehicle clean, dry, free of dust and seal up your garage a bit better. Your house, when it was built, they probably didn't put insulation in the garage. So you might want to put some insulation there and seal up with those brushes and it'll keep it a lot cooler and cleaner in there. Getting a few more spots as we, as we speak. Um, and yeah, your brushes, like whether it's mops, brooms, whatever the case may be, PNC, brushes Australian made I'm sure a lot of all your brush you know it's not a Bunnings thing Bunnings you know Bunnings want cheap mate you know what I mean we want quality so who's with me who wants quality put it in the comments if you want quality and you'll I think I might start a new playlist Australian made endorsed products 
and we'll edit that from time to time when they sell off to overseas, you know, whoever, um, or overseas manufacturing, we might just uh, delete that out of there and put up a video saying, look, we no longer endorse that. So keep an eye on the playlists, like always, on our on our channel. I don't know what else I've got for you. PNC brushes are in Campbellfield. Um, Australian Slate Creek supplies are in Epping. It's definitely getting a few spots of rain now. So I just want to get around on it a bit. When it dries, it'll go lighter. This is just a light color exposed aggregate. Um, this is under the shade sail while it's a bit darker just here. But um, yeah, just sort of sussing it out. Let's get over to these, have a look at these tins of sealer so you can see. This is just clear sealer. So actually, that's what I was gonna say. Just as far as applying it goes, I used to be a bit tight with the sealer, you know, cause it costs money. Now you can get ripped off and pay two or three hundred dollars, maybe even more per tin, 20 litre tins I'm talking about. You don't buy 10 litres, you don't go to Bunnings. You don't really go to the paint shop or the paint spot, anything like that, unless you want to get ripped off. You go to Australian Slate Creek Supplies or you find out who, if anybody else stocks their gear. You know what I mean? Uh, the 20 litre tin, 143 bucks, including GST. And cheaper if you speak to Greg and you're buying bulk amounts for large areas. I've just used about eight tins, you know, front and back. So that's the five, 10 year reseal. I don't do this every year, um, but you know, you give it a good coat. If you put it too light, I think it's just gonna wear off. Even if it was sealed at the start, probably needs to be redone. But um, I really throw it on. So if I was doing an area like this, I'll just tell you what I did. So I'll put the bucket about, about here and I'll dip and I'll, work at the corner, I'll work my way out, I'll sort of do, this is probably uh, four square metres, that square, to give you a rough idea. So I'll make sure I do that area, and then I'll push the broom back and forward that way, back and forward that way, and this way as well. And that area there, that square metre, I'll probably spend about a minute on that, right? So this square here, ballpark is about five minutes. So I'll go from there to here, then I'll go from there to there, then I'll systematically just work on it so that you keep it wet, you know, just like painting sort of thing, right? But we're definitely getting some rain now. I'm under the uh, shade sail at the moment. All right, so I really throw it on and it just drinks it anyway, This because it was really dry. And if you saw it, uh, any of my photos, depends if you're following around on Facebook and that sort of thing, but I put some photos up. Give it a really good pressure wash. Often you need to acid wash it as well. Definitely new concrete needs to be acid washed first. Um, to, and then even used second hand, used old concrete, whatever you want to call it, you should probably, it'll just help clean it, right? So it doesn't need to be acid washed, but it needs a really good clean. And I don't mean a bit of dirt, but whatever dirt, leaves, any, whatever's left there in that surface down there, that's what's going to be sealed into your concrete. Kind of think of it as a glue. It's also going to glue. So it helps keep things cleaner. So if some oil spills on that now, you'll be able to wipe it up with a rag where if the oil spilt on it when it was dry and not sealed, and we don't have cars that leak oil, of course, because Toyotas, um, but if that was not sealed, the oil would just soak into the concrete and stain it. That's why you want to keep, especially if you've got light colored concrete. If you've got a, you know, charcoal is a popular color concrete, you can use color sealer, but same thing. It helps seal it off um, to, to make it easy to clean. Beware, it can be slippery when it's wet, especially newly sealed concrete. After a few weeks and a few months, it'll um, back off. If it's a slippery area, you can put the um, anti-slip agent into the mix. It's just a bag, again, Australian Slate Creek Supplies. Let's just have a quick look at these tins and this broom. Uh, I think I've covered how I apply it. Um, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, <laughs> if you get what I mean. So this is the stuff, right? This is the business, Australian, quality Australian product. Uh, probably a porter from somewhere. No, no. Well, I don't know. Look, you know, I'm sure they put it in their own tins because it's their brand. They buy it in IBCs, whatever. Right. So there's your information. If you want to give them a ring and say g'day to Greg, and if you need any concrete supplies, they supply the PNC brushes broom. They come with an extra long stick so that uh, it's easy reach, which is really good. And it's a quality. The reason they're not cheap, this broom, you're going to be looking at almost thirty bucks. It's a horsehair broom, right? So, uh, of course, sustainably manufactured and all that. Talk to PNC Brushes about that if you like. But it's horsehair, it's not just some cheap plastic. What happens with this, I've used this recently. I let it dry and go hard, as it probably will now. And I stuck it back in the bucket and it softens up straight away. So don't think it's set hard and throw it out, it's wasted. Keep it, that's your sealer broom. Next time you use it, you stick it in the bucket and go soft again, all right? so. Hopefully it's been helpful. This is all you need to apply it, the bucket and the broom. How simple is that? Make sure it's clean. 
nice hot conditions to wash it so it dries properly. And then the next morning, nice and early, preferably with no rain like what we got now, um, preferably, but get it down before any rain if you can. And if you're gonna, it needs to be dry, otherwise it'll bubble up if the concrete's still wet. And um, of course, really hot sun's not ideal either. That's why you get out early, like any painting, that sort of thing. That's a video, thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked it, I know it's off topic, but hopefully it helps you because this is the sort of thing, like I said, they don't teach you this at school. So all the young people, send it to your kids, share it around, probably too late to tell you that anyway. But you know, all these things, this is the wisdom, this is the education, this is the experience we've had for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And the way to learn it is to watch and learn from other people. You might just pay someone to do this if you've got plenty of money, no worries. Um, I could probably do that. But you know, the motto, like with the vehicles, if you want it done properly, you got to do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, turn the bell on, catch you on the next one. See ya. Last but not least, I nearly forgot, and the stuff lasts ages. So these are your old rubbish bins now for the workshop, right? The tins you use as rubbish bins or whatever you like. I'll throw the lids out there, rubbish bins for the workshop. And the fluid, as long as you keep the tin in good condition out of the weather, off the ground so it doesn't rust on the bottom, maybe on some timber or something like that, like a lot of other things like that, paint tins, the product in there won't dry up. 10 years later, you'll open up, you'll be able to use it. So if you're not sure how much to get, do what I do, get a bit extra, store this until you're ready for next time for a reseal and you just calculate how much extra you need. Last thing I want to say is they say you're going to use about four to five, you're going to need about four or five meters a litre. So that would mean I'm only going to use one, two, three. It's not going to happen, okay? Um, maybe I throw in too much and it drinks it, but it's hard work if you try and make it spread and last it will drink it try and put it on evenly um take your time a bit to make sure you do that i suppose but um yeah i reckon you're going to be more like 50 to let's go 50 to 80 square meters for a 20 liter drum that's what i think uh, depending how porous your concrete is i suppose so it depends on your you know if it's previously been sealed it's going to use less if there's some sealer left and a lot of variables so yeah just uh get some extra if you see greg if you happen to be local i reckon he'd, as long as it's like brand new i reckon he'd, and you haven't opened it i reckon he'd probably let you take back what you didn't use but ask him see ya done we're done see ya